He called me Buddy. Yeah. My little buddy. Yeah. And I never called by my real name. Yeah. Then I was blocked by the rabbi. Yeah. I had to promise the baby. The rabbi blocked me. My, my godfather and godmother are yeah. both Jewish. Yeah. And I'm Jewish. Yeah. I'm sitting there, oh, jeez. And uh, growing up, being a deaf child, yeah. you would, at, at five years old, you would know what to say to your grandfather. Yeah. Go like this, no. So I was, uh, I was caught military, caught also as a world prince. Yeah. What I didn't like about being deaf and sitting there with my hands, and then growing up at Ken, after I got my hearing aid at nine years old. I cook my uncle's sister out of the hearing aid store and I can hear the bus, <laughs> blowing the bus driver's on. People are getting mad at me. Hey, I want to get home. And the bus driver says, ah, shut up. It's the handicapped man. Let him blow the horn. Yeah. But it was, uh, it was different back then. Being deaf and five years in school, and with the reading disability, I had a hard time with out of far, and I was a permanent baby. Yeah. I had a hard chair. And uh, the doctor asked my mother if I can cut his brain. No problem, sit down. We put the needle and draw pus and blood, and did the other side the same thing, pus and blood. And the doctor says, who the hell the doctors are back in those days? They all have big mouths. Yeah. And uh, I'm very blessed. I've been born with a hole in the lung, born with trouble in the eye, born deaf, all that from birth. Yeah. And uh, at the time, they didn't know that I was going to go towards my lungs. You know, an average 15 to 20, you could be gone. Yeah. I passed all that. So what's your full name? My full name is Clayton Alexander Joseph Lynch. Okay, right on. And uh, so you said you lived in Montreal before? Yeah. And how long have you been in Kitchener for? 45 years. 45 years. And where about? 23 years, in, uh, 24 years in Montreal. Yeah, okay, cool. And uh, like how long have you been a member of like the Disability and Human Rights Group? Since Judy passed away, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. I would say over, I could say about 11 years. 11 years, okay, cool. What's your favorite thing about being a member of Disability and Human Rights? I'm always trying to find out more information. What's the ball crap behind it? See, I never learned it in the deaf school, okay? Back then, Handicapped people are dumb and stupid. That's what we were called back then. Now you can't say that no more because we're called physical child. And I, I may agree with that, but I don't because I still have a disability. But the problem with the rich man's mouth is so big, he doesn't listen. He judged people just like the Jews judged handicapped people back in the olden days. I mean, not the poster. Your poster loves them. And we are here for a purpose to teach you people how to learn to close your mouth and help one another, not to judge. And so, like, the big thing with the group is lived experience. And what do you think is important about lived experience? I'm listening to the people talk because it helped me to see the picture better. I and mean, then you're talking with the group, you want to know what they're coming from. And if you're not talking about them where they're coming from, they're, they're blank. Their mind is not there. It's the same as a blind man. He may can see so much distance, but he does not see it clear like as I do. I have to sit in the chair and listen before I say anything, that's what the problem today. A lot of politicians, a lot of rich men, a lot of people don't sit down and listen and look at before you say 
and it's done. So I'm someone who sees this video for the first time. And I might have a disability, That's okay. or I might know someone living with a disability. Yep. So what would joining this group do for me? With me, I'm the only deaf person standing up fighting for my rights. I want to get a computer that I can talk to the computer, write a book about what it's like being deaf, what it's like being terminated, because other people terminate me, but they don't terminate themselves with those things. That's the difference. If someone was new to the group, how would you make them feel welcome? People that don't know about me and I don't know about them. I, you're my chief. And I tell you why, because it goes back to the New Testament and the Lord says, look after my chief. And I look at him and I look at, I say, okay, you're right, I'm wrong. Sometimes you gotta listen to them once in a while. We're not perfect, you're not perfect. Learn to close your mouth and say, I'm sorry, I couldn't mean to judge you. It's the same thing with the women. I love a woman. I love to treat them with respect, treat them honestly. But on the other hand, I don't know the woman's body and I don't know the man's body because I wasn't caught. I tell you, going back to I was 35 years old. This is going back in the 85. And there's an old girlfriend I used to go out with for five years. And she was handicapped to her balance. I didn't think anything wrong with it. Mike Harris, the prime, uh, the prime mayor of Ontario, called the handic people, to teach the handicapped people about facts of life. I was so balanced and I said, well, that's okay. Uh, the lady says, don't be afraid to touch the body. It's not going to bite you. It's just like we're afraid that something's going to happen. See, with me not brought up with it, my mother would say, don't, don't forget that's your sister. You're giving a kiss. And it doesn't make any sense. But another people have talked about it in different language, different clan language. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. But as I ask you, tell me what it's all about. Oh, okay. Then I can understand what you're saying. Yeah. If you were to pick one moment as a lasting memory for you of the group, what would that be? A memory of the group? Yeah. I will learn a lot from a lot of different people because I see them, I know what they're going through. I, I feel sorry for them sometimes because they're not treated the same way I was treated. And I was growing up as a child, as a deaf child. You shut up, you do as you call. That's from my mom. I never had the right to say to my mother, back off. I got slapped in the mouth. My other two brothers can call my mother the F off and they get away with it. And I, I didn't understand that. This is, uh, it touched me so much because it made me angry. And then I, 26 years my mom been gone. And I had to leave Waterloo because my mom lived in Waterloo, the same area as I was. I had to get out of there and get away from the, the aggravated and the anger. Mm -hmm. You remember what happened, but I want to forget about it and go on with my life. I'm 69 years old. I'm, I'm enjoying my life now. I find my freedom yeah. totally different. Yeah. But if you ask me, what does it feel like you have your freedom? I feel a lot different. The only thing I don't like about, and some people say, oh, you're a brag, you're a troublemaker. I'm not, because I can't lie. Mm -hmm. And that's the hardest for me, yeah. lied against the people, or lied against the public. Yeah. Stand up and tell the truth and be thankful. Yeah. And then I left Montreal. I, I, thank God I did left Montreal for two reasons, to get away from my mother, have my freedom up here. And then I have my freedom, I could walk with $150 in my pockets. Yeah. Usually I never do that. I never have money. Yeah. I was only making $35 a week. Yeah. And, she was taking thirty dollars every Friday off me, and yeah. I never had any entertainment, nothing. Yeah. And now, 
I can do things, I can budget things like in my comfort zone, yeah. then I know I can, I'll be okay. Yeah. But right now, it's been tough for me. Yeah. I'm trying to get something. Even if you're fighting a court case, you're always fighting something you want an answer. You want to hear from the lawyer's mouth, not yeah. shooting your mouth off, I'm trouble, and the other guy just yeah. biting you. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. And that's the problem. Have you found that like the disability and human rights group has helped you find your voice for stuff like that? Yes. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, in what ways has it well, the kids open me up that I'm not afraid to keep my mouth shut. Open up your mouth and tell them right in their face what they need to hear. They don't know what I'm going through. They don't talk with their mouth. And they want to go into the, this is to be honest with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't take it stupidly, but understand it. Anybody goes into politics or running a mail or anything, they know what to bring in and bring out. Now, if you're that stupid, then you got your brain somewhere else. I don't have a university degree or a college degree. <laughs> and I learned everything the hard way. Yeah. I'm thank goodness I learned to run the computer yeah. on my own the hard way. Yeah. And then I got posted and say, what's the matter? I said, what did I did wrong? Oh, no, you didn't do anything wrong. One, uh, one disc wasn't programmed, one yeah. disc was and yeah. it opened me up in the way. Yeah. And the guy was behind me yeah. that I wasn't paying attention. The other guy said to him, no, he's not stupid. He's yeah. very smart. So he can run the computer. Yeah. And, I, and I got that compliment back. It makes yeah. me feel good. Yeah. Right but if you don't stand up and talk to me and let me know that, yeah. I don't know. But this organization, uh, like Judy, she helped me to use the word I. Yeah. I. And, uh, and I'm deaf and I don't hear the I. I don't hear the people say I. It was hard for me to say it. So I came a long way. I, for 69 years, uh, nothing changed. And uh, I want to see something change. I want to get to be honest with you, I had a judge from the Supreme Court of Canada, and he asked me why you can't get a job. And I asked him, I said, I was called I'm handicapped because I'm deaf, because I have a reading disability. He said, that's no truth. I said, yes, but you, pay, you made the law for the writ man and the executive. Shut up, he never opened his mouth. Mm. He knew I was right, he was wrong. Thank you, Clayton. That was awesome. Yeah, that was great. Yeah.